Hey guys, Shifty here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Renegade Platinum Hardcore Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we fought Barry, we fought Riley in the Iron Islands, and then we fought the gym leader, um, what's his name, Byron. And yeah, that all happened last episode, and it was a pretty good episode, all things considered. I really enjoyed it. And in this episode, uh, we're here at Lake Valor. I did all the story stuff like, oh, they blew up Lake Valor, you should go check it out. And I just made it here, and I planned for the fight. So now... Without any further ado, let's just get into it. And I'll try to explain my strategy going through. As you can see, someone's already poisoned, and if you've been watching for a couple episodes, you'll know it's Swellow, because Swellow has the Guts ability, which, um, I don't know if it's a 2 times multiplier or a 1.5 times multiplier, but it boosts his attack whenever it's saddest. So, here we are. And I already have a little idea developed. So, he leads with Alakazam. Now, unfortunately, Akazam gets blown the fuck up by extreme speed. And I take no recoil except for the poison. And that brings in Rhydon. Now, Rhydon, we can just U-turn into. Go to Mary on the Stone Edge. And we even dodge it for a little extra cheese. We take a Quake. They get Quaked. They actually did a little bit of damage, I can't lie. So, you know what, I'm just going to take my time and protect a little bit. Get a little leftovers. Not really necessary, but... You know, it's always fun. It's always fun. And this should bring in Octillery to Hydro Pump us. Actually, it might even be... Actually, you know what? I can just protect and see. If it is Hydro Pump. It is Hydro Pump. So now, we simply go to Rotom. On the pump. Easy. And because of the chip from Sandstorm, Thunderbolt should kill. I think we even crit there. I wasn't paying attention exactly, but I think we did. And now, Croak comes in. Okay, it was either going to be Croak or uh, Bronzong, so the only two Pokemon left. And I just didn't know which. Okay, the the, <laughs> the immediate uh, crit on Fake Out is unfortunate. Um, yeah, no, it's just unfortunate. Uh, I was going to try to burn this thing. However, I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. So we're simply going to beat it with Gyarados. Gunk Shot does nothing. This is why we have Defensive Gyarados. Truly the GOAT. And then last is Bronzong, and Bronzong is unfortunate because it has Levitate. Which is why I can... Um, what's it going for here? Iron Head, ZH, or Shadow Ball? I think either way, the play is this, and then I think raw flamethrower in question mark, because like I can't really do shit else. My plan was to burn this with Rotom, but now Rotom's a little too low health for my liking. And this is exactly what I brought uh, Naruto to do, was flamethrower. And it kills, let's go. I did not calc that beforehand, I just kind of brought Naruto, because if shit went awry, it beat Toxicroak and Bronzong, maybe. Um, because Toxicroak takes, uh, super effective damage because of Dry Skin, and Bronzong's obviously weak to it, so, yeah. Uh, Naruto did exactly what I wanted to do, which is awesome. And now we have to go to, um, Verity Lakefront, I think, and there might be another admin fight. I honestly didn't think that far ahead to plan there, but, um, if you enjoyed that fight and me, uh, completely demolishing my opponent, um, consider subscribing. It, it really mean a lot. And I'm going to... Not pause the episode, but I'm going to take a look. Lake Verity... Okay, there is a Commander Mars fight, unfortunately. And... You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and take the second to, to plan for this. I I don't know Platinum Story very well, so I didn't know we were finding a bunch of Commanders. So I will see you in a second. And I'm back. Here we are. I skipped the, um, the required fight for this area, which is... Two Galactic Grunts is a double battle, but it's just Beautifully, Butterfree, Dustox, Beedrill. And, you know, uh, it's not really, like, a good team. They're all level 50 and shit, so I skipped those, or I did those, and then I skipped these two by just surfing on the uh, on the lake. Which is really funny that you can just skip that. Uh, and here we are against Mars. Um, she leads a Crobat, so I'm leading a Focus Sash Aerodactyl with Stone Edge and Stealth Rock to, obviously, Stone Edge and then Stealth Rock. And then we're going to go from there. I have an idea of how this battle should go. Um, I should win it, but you know, crits and bullshit. Uh, you know, don't always don't always allow that to happen. But we're going to hope. 
Now we're going to Stone Edge, and we're going to land it, and it's going to kill. Beautiful. Plans off to a great start. And now we're going to set up rocks. And that'll become very obvious in just a second. Also, I didn't have to use my Focus Sash. We lived on two, which is interesting. I didn't know we would live that, ever. And then we go Umbreon, and we just start crunching. Stones don't really matter against us. I don't think so, at least. I could be smoking crack. Actually, yeah, I think there's only, like, one more switch in, if if I'm playing my cards right. So, obviously, Young Mega takes, like, a billion, and then we can just protect on its detect to get, you know, a little more leftovers, and then we Toxic. Now, Bug Buzz gets this bit after up, which is very awesome and fun, because Book 1's a good game. Now, normally, Bug Buzz should never two-shot us, which is really cool and interesting. That's why I was going to Moonlight, and then, you know, just waste some turns. But because of the spit F drop, I now am forced to protect. Now, obviously, it's going to be dead pretty soon. I think, like, two more turns. So that means I can switch into... Maybe Jitos? Yeah, Jitos isn't really doing anything. And then again... So, basically, the plan from here is... Or was supposed to be stall out Yanmega with Umbreon. And that brings in Kangaskhan and Perugly. And then... Those go for fake out. I switch in um, Infernape and just CC twice. Unfortunately, this now puts a little little bit of a damper on those plans. Because we got the immediate spit F drop, which is like 10% chance. So that's really fun. This is what I mean when I say Pokemon is a fair and balanced game. And we shouldn't die to another Bug Buzz if I'm doing my math right, if the math is mathing. And I'm simply going to believe in Rotom. As I should. Now, Kangaskhan should always go for some bullshit here. And by some bullshit, I mean uh, Fake Out. Okay, I lied. It will not go for Fake Out every time. Well, that's fine. Thank God I didn't switch in Infernape on that. Honestly, kind of a dub on my part. So I think I could just... Um, D-Dance once. Yeah, Double Edge didn't do enough. And with Leftovers... We don't quite kill, but we also don't quite get killed. However, I do need to switch. Immediately. Now this should go for Fake Out. Yeah, surely it goes for Fake Out. It's priority. It's, you know, the right move. In all honesty. I lied, unfortunately, once again. However, we should outspeed and KO with close combat. Just like that. Okay. Plan didn't go exactly as planned. The plan did not execute itself to the fullest extent, but... I mean, it's still we still got out there with no deaths, which is all I really wanted, so... Yeah, it really sucks that Yon Mega got that fucking spit F drop. Other than that, shit was looking pretty good. Oh yeah, I don't have a fly Pokemon. Um, alright, so now it's time to, I don't know, probably just heal the team. I don't think I'm going to change this too much. Also, we had to keep our focus sash, it didn't get consumed. So that's, that's interesting. That's something. And I also, I mean, with, that's cool because, um, focus sash is cost like $2,000. No, they cost 2,000 coins, which is, um, like a lot, a lot of money to, turn those coins into, or turn cash into coins. And also, he's at, like, the top of the map, which is unfortunate, so... Goodbye. Aerodactyl, hello, Swallow. I gotta fly somewhere. And I have half a mind to switch up the team, just because I'm rocking two flying types, going into, like, the ice route. Which isn't, you know, the most genius of plans. However, I don't really have a plan either way. Do I have to go from Eternus City? Or it doesn't matter. I'm just going to go to Celestic Town and pray. I'm pretty sure there's like uh, some part of the game where which side you go into Mount Coronet on uh, affects which side you can, or like where you can go. I just don't know if that's here or not. Can I avoid everyone here? No, I cannot. Unless I go through the grass. Unfortunate. I really love avoiding trainers. 
It's the most fun thing. Oh, you have level 20 Pokemon. Very unfortunate. I am so sorry, little kid. Imagine you pop out of the dirt to surprise like some random trainer. And then they just pull out a level 53 Swellow and smoke your shit. I'd, I'd be so upset. Alright, let's see what we can what we can do in here. Hopefully we run into a shiny Pokemon. That's one thing I am very upset about, not finding yet, is a shiny Pokemon. Because the odds are raised, it's like 1 in 512, if I'm remembering correctly. Which would be, you know, pretty cool to have a little shiny Pokemon. I wouldn't mind a little extra encounter. Because, honestly, besides like, like the main, like, s not 7, um, like maybe 10 Pokemon... Uh, my box is pretty sparse, as far as Pokemon go. Like, it's the whole this whole team, and then, like, four other Pokemon. It's, it's very sad. The box is not looking good. Oh, come on, man. Come on. There's no fucking way you saw my ass. Luckily, all the levels here got reduced because you actually come here before the uh, grass gym. Which is really cool, and I'm glad they did that. It's very nice being able to get an ice type early in the game. Especially when they're all ass. That better not fucking kill. Okay. I got scared. I know it's like a swine up and shit, but like it it worried me for a second there. And also, I bought Hyper Potions. Finally. And now we get to go through one of the worst routes in Pokemon. Let's right up there with the, um, the bullshit in Pastoria. Also, we get some encounters in here. So, Route 217, this is a new place. A new place where we're going. Yo, Maylene, what's up? How's it going? I haven't seen you since, like... I was gonna say an episode number, but I don't remember what episode it was. Also, we got Focus Blast, that's, um, not useful in the slightest. Focus Miss, as it's commonly referred. Um, you lead with... Magmortar? Why do you have a Magmortar? Alright, man. Magmortar, Venusaur, Kingdra. Nice little fire, water, grass core. Magmortar, I'm leading Tom, and you're gonna get pumped. It lived? It lived. That's so fucked. And it still died to the hail, but come on, man. And then when Yasaur comes out, and then it's going for a grass type move. Fuck it, I'm going Star Raptor. Petal Dance actually does quite a bit of damage, and with the uh, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, we lived. And then Kingdra, who um, maybe gets walled by Rotom, depends. Well, if we dodge the muddy water, then we should always be good. I'm just going to Thunderbolt for neutral. Doesn't do enough. However, we are spadeffed up. Yawn? You're throwing. Something out of magic and call it a day. Yeah. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Alright. Allow me to heal up my Pokemon. Yeah, Star Raptor. Star Raptor's at the point where it's gonna start putting in work. Now that it has like Brave Bird and shit, should be going crazy. Also, we have an encounter somewhere in here, or like in here, but like wherever we can actually like, you know, find the fucking Pokemon. Oh shit, I've I've gone to the wrong place. God, I don't know why they made this shit so fucking thick. I don't know how people play this shit on like original hardware without speed up. This shit, like this shit. Where you're, like, neck deep in snow is so insane. Icy Rock. I know there's an HM up here somewhere. I believe that's it there. No, that's the TM for Hail. Silly me. Oh my god. This shit is so annoying. Alright, if there's... If I miss the TM, I miss the TM. I don't really give a shit. Alright, this is still Route 17. Our encounter is... Pilus one. You know what? Honestly, not even mad. Oh, come on, man. Just stay in the fucking ball. 
I'm just gonna burn you, just in case. Yeah, I have a levitate bitch. All right, Mammoth Swan's actually a really good Pokemon, so I'm not upset with this. And yeah, no, it's just a good encounter. Ice and ground, good typings. I'm happy with this. Pilot Swan, I'm gonna call you Piggy, and call it a day. Now, what I really would like is a good Steel type. That's something I realized would have helped me tremendously in like so many fights. Is just like a half decent Steel type. Steel is just such a good typing. Even like a good, um... Honestly, yeah, just a, a good Steel type. Not even like good. Like I'll take like a Bronzong. Like Bronzong's good enough. I wouldn't be mad. Ah, uh, please. Just let me, let me through. And you're a mandatory fight. Um, what have, what have you got? Ace Trainer Olivia, I'm assuming? Shift tree. Oh, yo, shout out Shift tree. That was like my mascot. Now, unfortunately, I have let horribly. Fake out for more damage than it really should have been. What's the over under on it dying to a U turn? It's pretty good. I knew it. Now, you have Altaria and Blissey, which is a fucked combination of Pokemon to fight. Um, I guess Star Hunter beats either one. Actually, no, it doesn't. It does not beat Altaria, unfortunately. I can, I can pretend it does, though. But what can it do to me? Let me, let me just Aerial Ace for a little chip. Ice Beam? Why do you have Ice Beam? What the hell are you talking about, Ice Beam? Made up ass move. Altaria does not get Ice Beam. You you made that shit up. Let me Thunderbolt you. Also, I'm not taking Hail Chip. I just realized. So that's interesting. I don't know why. Because like it's hailing, but I'm okay. That time I took Hail Chip. Was I not taking Hail Chip before, or was I making that shit up? Because I switched in at the end of the turn. I might have been making that shit up. Um, Blissey is just annoying. Okay, yeah, I'm take I am taking Hail Chip. I can confirm. I'm just gonna Toxic. Okay. I could go to Infernate, but I don't wanna. We are all going to hit sit here and suffer. So I want to take this time to talk about um after the series, I am not gonna be doing Pokemon. Um at least not like immediately afterwards. I wanna, you know, play more games. I've talked about this a little bit before in um uh, I think a different episode or something. It has soft boiled. Uh, this is a great time to talk about this. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be playing different games. Games that I enjoy. I shouldn't have moonlighted there. It was a waste of a PP. So, yeah, I, I want to play different games. You know, not just uh, not just Pokemon. It's still going to be doing Showdown occasionally. I'm not occasionally, but like it's still probably going to be like the most Pokemon content. However, I have kind of fallen into... Um, like, not really wanting to record, just because part of it is, like, loading up and, like, having to face the fact that I'm probably going to lose uh, isn't something I really want to do. And then also, just, like, how do I follow up the um, the undefeated, you know, like, seven or eight game undefe undefeated win streak of the, um, of, like, the last video I did? It's just, like, two things I don't really want to have to face. Which, obviously, I should, but, like... Yeah, it's just, uh, it's rough. But I, I, I do plan on recording it. I just, like, I have the um, team made that I want to record with, but it's simply a matter of putting together said team and, like, recording and shit. Glalie. Okay. That's a Pokemon. That's a Pokemon I can get for an encounter. Um, yeah, so I want to do... You know, Showdown, obviously, and it's also been doing really well for the channel, so obviously I don't want to stop doing that. And then other games, not just Pokemon. Like, there are, there are a couple indie games I've been eyeing for a while to play on the channel. I don't want to spoil anything. They are indie games, mostly because indie games are pixel art and easy to run, which I need to do for my laptop. Um, I don't know if this thing's Rock-type in this ROM hack. I know it 
they do make it rock type in some ROM hacks, but I'm still going to name it the rock. Just because I don't have a better nickname uh, made. R-O-C-K. That's how you spell rock. R-O-C-K. I honestly doubt it's rock type, but I'm simply going to believe. And now, suddenly, we're here in Snowpoint City. Yay! And what do we have to do? Oh, there's the double battle. There's the double battle with the um the people outside of the temple. The of the Regigigas thing. And that'll be something to do. Um fuck, I guess I have to do that like now, I guess. Which sucks. And let's see. What are their teams looking like? Um Heracross and Blissey. Hmm. Doesn't give me the team, like, moveset or anything. Heracloss, Typhlosion, Tyranitar, Blissey, Meganium, Feraliator. I'm also going to save that for, like, the start of the next episode, just because I truly do not want to do it now. And also, I'm kind of making, like, I'm kind of spitting about, like, the future of the channel. Unfortunately, it's at the end of the video, but, you know, it is what it is. Ooh, Quick Balls? Um, I don't know how many more encounters we're going to be having, but I'll take ten Quick Balls. Um, yeah, so, Showdown, don't expect that to go anywhere once I can actually muster the courage to record. Because I do feel like a large part of, um, Showdown content is, like, winning. And not just, like, I feel like with this I can, like, play bad and still be, like, entertaining to an extent. And that'd be okay. But with Showdown it feels like, you know, you also gotta win. So, I'll have to find a team that's, like, decent and, you know, record with it. And then playing a bunch of different games. I wanna I wanna try to do. And then still maybe some Pokemon, maybe like um something more casual, because uh, I'm probably not doing a randomizer nuzlocke or like another hardcore nuzlocke for a while. But maybe like um like a playthrough of a ROM hack or something. Maybe something like that, but nothing nothing too intensive uh anytime soon. I do want to do another hardcore nuzlocke though, because I've been enjoying the fuck out of this. As much as it is, um, no, I was going to say a pain to record, but it's not, because I do enjoy it once I'm started. Um, it is, it's, it's weird. It's like a love-hate thing, but not, not really hate. It's like a love and, like, I kind of dislike it just because these obviously are, like, 25-minute episodes, but they take sometimes, like, an hour or so, sometimes more, to record because I have to, like, stop and then plan, which I could just be doing, like, you know, before I start recording, but still. So I, I usually just do it in the moment because it's easier than, like, trying to remember and, like, writing down, like, okay, whenever I record, I need to make sure that I do this fight with this team and then change it out for this team and here's why and then, like, uh, any EVs I need to change and shit. So it's just easier to do it, like, immediately afterwards. So, yeah, I do want to do one of these again, but just not anytime soon. And then, you know, bring different content to the channel, a couple indie games. I have... um. One, two, three in mind, I think. Um, two for sure. Then maybe some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I haven't played that since like the Link event, which is a while ago. But I did enjoy that. And then um maybe a couple other indie games. I have some on my radar of what I want to play, but I don't have like an exact um I haven't downloaded it yet, but I do know I want to play it because it has been Something I've been meaning to play for a while. And then Pokemon Challenges. Um, me and JP have something special coming out on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. A little a little so special something. So depending on how well th those videos do, more of those, more Pokemon Challenges like you've seen with the um, Ferrazid Only, Iamolga, Joltik, that, that uh, brand. Oh shit, I'm actually working on one right now that hopefully will be out by Christmas. So, we'll see about that. But, yeah, I think that's about it. Sorry that, like, the last couple of minutes of this turned into just me talking about the future of the channel. But, it is what it is. Because uh, I didn't... I mean, I'm kind of like a weird point where, like, I don't want to, you know, do this fight. Because, you know, it's actually pretty intense. 
and then like just in the episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on where I'm going with the channel. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.